New tonight, another sign that illegal dumping is getting out of hand here. Yeah, you see right there uh -huh, next to the road, the boat, which appears to be abandoned, just sitting right there off of an exit ramp to Route 50 in Bowie. That boat, by the way, has been there for weeks and no one is doing anything about it. As our Scott Broom reports from Prince George's County tonight, this is the second time since April of 2022 that we've highlighted this type of issue. Well, here it is right on the edge of this off ramp from Route 50 to southbound US 301 here in Bowie. According to people I talked to in the salvage business today, abandoned boats can be a costly pain in the butt to get rid of, which perhaps is one motive for just hauling a boat like this to the roadside in the middle of the night and dumping it off the trailer. This boat has been here for at least two months, according to WUSA 9 photographer Kurt Brooks, who alerted us to this problem. Contacted today, Maryland State Police said they consider this case the same way they might as if a car was abandoned here. They promised to investigate and to call a salvage truck to remove the boat at some point. There is a serial number and an old registration number, and if authorities can prove who dumped it here, charges can result in five years of jail and a $30,000 fine. Now, this kind of stuff is not unheard of around here. In April of 2022, we reported on a boat dumped on a Prince George's County right of way on the frontage of Indian Head Highway in Fort Washington. In that case, the county was forced to haul the boat away. Salvagers I talked to today said that unlike cars, which at least have some value as scrap metal, boats are frequently worth absolutely nothing. Salvagers charge as much as $100 a foot to properly dispose of them, and they charge even more if there are environmental problems like gas and oil to deal with, bringing the cost of moving a boat like this as high as $2,000. Junk boats are such a big issue in Maryland that the Department of Natural Resources grants local governments money to get rid of them, paid for by a portion of boat registration fees. But that policy is targeted at boats that are sunken or abandoned in or near state waterways. Boats on the road? Well, in this case, that's a headache for Maryland State Police. We let them know about this this morning, but no salvage truck has appeared yet. On the off-ramp from US 50 to 301 in Bowie, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.